Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm very excited because I've got a tool in the mail, a tool that I've gone without for probably four or five months, maybe longer, maybe six months. But what happened is I ended up giving my Leatherman to somebody that was training underneath me. And that is a long-standing tradition that goes way back probably almost two decades now when I got to my first duty station, a sergeant provided me with a Leatherman. And ever since then, because I was given a tool as soon as I got on station, given the government bought that one, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't change the fact that you are giving somebody essentially everything they need to complete most of their jobs. You're giving it to them all in one punch. <sighs> so I have a long standing tradition of Whenever I have somebody that I train, I will give them my Leatherman and then I press on and I eventually get another one. And in a way, it keeps me with a fresh Leatherman, uh, but at the same time, it also keeps me with some fresh Leatherman accessories that didn't exist before and they are so cool. We're going to go over that in just a minute, guys. But uh, this it's, it's such a cool tradition because... When I left South Carolina to come here to Houston, Texas, there was a nurse, a male nurse, uh, who was a friend of mine, and I'd worked with him for years. He's one of the best people I've ever met in my life, and uh, when I was leaving, I gave Chris my Leatherman that I had had with me for decades. I mean, I've had this thing going way back to... Uh, it was one of the first Leatherman, actually, uh, about one and a half decades. But um, it was my first Leatherman I had ever received. It's the one that was given to me by the sergeant. And um, that Leatherman had been with me to war. It had been with me through uh, the tragedies that we've seen through Fallujah and everything. Um, that Leatherman had been with me through everything, just like Chris had been with me through a lot of stuff uh, up there at South Carolina and he always supported me no matter how crazy the idea that you know we're gonna save money and we're gonna make this a better place Chris stood right there by me and so I gave him my Leatherman and I still to this day I still give out Leatherman to people um, I handed my last one out probably six months ago five months ago something like that so this one came in the mail today and guys I'm very excited about this one not necessarily because of the tool but this accessory over here, I think is a game changer because it, it solves some of the shortfalls of the Leatherman, okay? So let's get right into it. Let's start out. This is an unboxing of the Leatherman Surge, okay? So this bad boy, this is a heavy chunk of steel. You wanna pop somebody over the Kanagan, I'll tell you what, this is the tool to do it. Oh my gosh, a fresh Leatherman, it feels so good in the hand. Very stiff though, very stiff. But that's all right. Um, I, I like to be able to open my Leatherman and have the jaws open at the same time because if these wrist pins right here break like that when you're opening it, that means something's not adjusted correctly. See that? So this one here is adjusted perfectly fine. This particular kit comes with a, a case. It also came with two bit kits and this is why Leatherman is easily the best multi-tool out of all the multi-tools out there. It is because of this bit kit right here. And let me tell you something, guys, how many bit kits and how many multi-tools come with Torx? Torx and Allens. And I, if I remember, it's got metric and standard Allens, not to mention a variety of Phillips and including this little guy right here. See it? That's a little uh, eyeglass screwdriver, which we in medical use this little bad boy all the time. And when you don't have it, it sucks. It absolutely sucks. Uh, sometimes you use it for like setting pins in connectors. Sometimes you use that little screwdriver for actually screwing down micro connectors inside a PCB or something. We use them for all sorts of things. But guys, this is the kit. But this piece, I've never seen one before today. And when I read the description, I thought there's absolutely no way. There's no way that they did that in this small of a package. Guys, this right here is the Leatherman Ratchet Driver. A Ratchet Driver, 
which connects to your Leatherman. See, look at this. I'm gonna pull this guy out. Oh, you can tell this is a fresh Leatherman. You detach your bit that is in there and look at this guy. What? So check this out. This is the magic and this is the shortfall of Leatherman. So you can use a Leatherman like a screwdriver like this, right? And you spin and spin and spin and spin and spin, right? Did you hear that? It's a ratchet driver. You see this? You can put your Phillips bit on there and you just... You need to reverse it. You turn the collar right here and then you go back the opposite direction. It's a ratchet driver. So it's not only like an extension, like a regular screwdriver, but it's a ratchet driver. And it actually feels like it's built pretty well. When I first pulled it out, I thought, oh, I don't know. It doesn't really feel like the build quality is up there, but look at that. And put it on stationary so it acts just like a regular uh, extender. But uh, oh, this is such a game changer, guys. I wish I could tell you how excited I was when I read that it's got a ratcheting bit. Because traditionally, you have to spin your Leatherman. And this is why a lot of people don't use multi-tools anymore. Is because they're like, oh, it's, it's not worth the bother. If I can tell you how many hours I save because I can complete the job then and there with a, with a Leatherman, I do. You need to tighten something down, guess what? You just pop this bad boy out, get her done, man. So this is such a cool, cool tool. So if you guys don't know about the Leatherman Surge, we have replaceable jaws with a wire stripper right there. It's got the regular needle nose pliers, but it looks almost like the pliers profile is a little bit different than what I remember. It's a little bit shallower. If I remember right, the taper used to be continuous from the point to the apex. But look at that. It's actually got an indent. So that's very cool. Replaceable jaws. Mm, I do use that quite often. There is a wire crimper right up and in here. You see that little notch right there? So you put your crimper up in there, give it a hot supper. There is the bit piece. This is obviously the bits on this kit are what make a Leatherman the perfect tool for any Biomed out there. This is the perfect tool. Any one of these bits right here in the bit kits, so you can see, you got number what zero through number two or three Phillips same thing with flatheads I've got square drive I've got torques oh my gosh the Allens go all the way up I have some what um, those aren't Phillips those are some other type of screwdriver but anyway here's the different types of torques and whatnot <sighs> guys so that is the bit holder press the button fold that guy down now there is a, another tool that's right next to it here. And you see that guy? Yes, it is a can opener. But I can tell you that I have personally used this tool here for so many other purposes, it's not even funny. Um, I have used this guy here for cleaning carbon off of IEC connectors. I have used this for adjusting the tabs inside of power plugs. You know, you got the IEC part of the power cord, you plug this Put this guy in there and you bend the tongs out so you have more tension on your pins this guy here has multiple uses it's an extremely strong tool and my last one i bent it a little bit but that's okay it works just fine take a look right here you notice that notch that notch right there is also a wire stripper that guy right there of course my dog would come in here why would she come in here it makes no sense Ever since my other dog passed away, this dog here has never left my side, so here she is. So normally I'd shoo her out because, you know, she makes a lot of noise, but here she's going to be because, you know, I'm here. <laughs> so anyway, that's a wire stripper and a can opener on that guy. Let's see the other side. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I had one of these. I have a scraper. Now, this guy obviously has multiple uses. See that? So this scraper right here, uh, I actually used to use this little bad boy to scrape out the insides of uh, solenoids. You know, you got uh, solenoids that got some buildup and like sterilizers and stuff. You can use this guy right here to scrape them out and get them cleaned up. There's a couple tools that I don't remember there being on this uh, surge. 
There's the mega flat blade screwdriver, which is the chisel, of course. Everybody knows that. And then this one right here looks like a number one flat blade. You see that? I don't remember those being on there. So if they did redesign this tool, then good on them because a large flat blade, everybody knows, like if you're cracking a case open or something, it's always nice to have that to get in there and, you know, help you out. It's a pry tool. Everybody knows that. All right. So we got the traditional knife blade. Um, it's actually got a little bit of an arc to this blade. You see that? It's got a little bit of a curve. That's okay. I like the profile. Still a very strong blade. Um, I use it very often. What? They did change this, uh, the surge. This is crazy. What is this? Okay. So this looks like a replaceable saw. You see that? It's replaceable because if I see this correctly, I probably lift up on this guy right here or slide it. Did I slide it? Anyway. I haven't quite figured it out. There's there's something that you got to do right here. You probably lift this guy up and you rotate this and then your blade comes off and it's replaceable. That's kind of a cool feature. Don't know if I'll ever use it. But uh, one of the things I do like about this, see how this right here is recessed from the surface? This is your blade lock. And I have never had a blade on a Leatherman come down on my hand. That is a huge plus because some of these other tools out there have definitely boogered up my hands. What? They have changed this. Look at the size of those those uh, clippers right there. Holy cow, that's so awesome. Although this one here is not quite working up to snuff because the spring, I have to adjust it, of course. But the spring, which normally uh, makes it spring-loaded, is not quite adjusted correctly at the moment. I'll have to figure out why. Why is that? Okay, there it is. Now I got it. I don't know why uh, I had to slide it up in the spot. Look at the size of those clippers. Now guys, one of the cool things about the clippers on Leatherman, and I tell this to people all the time, Leathermans are infamous for having extremely strong clippers. Now take a look at this. One of the, the uses I always used the clippers for, and they were like half the size, was cutting zip ties. They, they're strong enough to cut zip ties. And look at this. Oh my gosh, like butter. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so nice. The, oh, look at that, it's so sharp. That is definitely a step up. Look at that, that whole entire zip tie just got, it's just annihilated. Um, How do I close this guy now? Hmm, okay. So, I'll have to figure that one out. Oh, okay, so to set it, you uh, open your tool and then you slide the spring up and that's when it activates. And to set it back, you depress the lock and then you can slide the spring back and then your clippers will close correctly. Eh, I should have known, but oh my gosh, check that out. Now the serrated blade, it doesn't look like they've changed much of anything on it. It's got the really stout tip. This is the blade I use the most on my entire Leatherman Surge. You open cardboard boxes or whatever. Uh, if you gotta cut some uh, pallet ties or something, that is the knife you wanna use. Because with the serrated blade, you can just get it in there and give it a pop and you can cut those plastic straps that hold your pallets down. Opening boxes, this is the one to use. Extremely sharp, and it stays sharper because it's got that serrated blade. Extremely nice, guys. So that is the Leatherman. It all pops in this nice little case right here. Let's see how it fits in there. Ooh. All right. So we got one bit kit that fits in the back. We got what one bit kit that fits in the front. Yep, yep, okay. So one bit kit in the back, one bit kit in the front. And there's a little pouch. I don't know how I trust that. I don't trust that at all, actually. There's little pouches on the side there. That's more like it. This There's two different diameters of sleeves. There's that one, which is a little bit larger. 
And then there's this one over here, and that is a very snug fit, but I can still pull it out with one hand. So that is going to be my everyday carry going here forward. It's going to be the Leatherman Surge, the new kit. And guys, since you stuck around to the end of the video, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be giving one of these away. That's right, guys. I'm going to be giving one of these away. Just leave a comment in the video down below. Leave me a like if you like this video. I'm going to go ahead and have my daughter assist me with picking out the winner for this kit. Now, this is not a cheap kit. I'm telling you right now. I've got another one here, and I'm going to give it away to one of you. Just leave me a comment down below. I'm going to do it kind of like my last giveaway. I'm going to assign a number position to each one of the people that goes ahead and uh, leaves a comment down below. And then I'm going to let my daughter draw a number out of a bowl, and that is going to be the person that's going to win one of these kits right here because I do believe that this is one of the best tools that a biomed can carry. Anyway, guys, this video is obviously long enough. I'm so excited about this tool. <sighs> Remember, guys, if you want to win one of these, comment down below, say that you're interested, and I will go ahead and probably in one week's time, one week from today, so right before next weekend, I will go ahead and do the giveaway for this, and I will get it in the mail the very next day. So one of you guys in two weeks is going to have one of these of your very own. All right? Thanks for watching this video to the end, guys. I hope you liked it. This is going to be a game changer for me. And this one is eventually going to be given away to another biomed. Eventually. In the future. Not today. I'm going to, I'm going to put this one through a hot supper. I'm going, to, I'm going to treat it pretty roughly. And then I'll eventually give it away to somebody. But you guys. You guys are going to get a brand new one. All right? Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.